Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I am finally back on YouTube after taking a short break and then my short break turned into a long break so I kinda was gone for a little longer than I wanted to be but I'm back so if you would like to before we get started with the video please follow me on Twitter I am always active on Twitter even when I'm not on YouTube and it is greatly appreciated you can ask me anything and I will always respond but now let's get to the video. By the must be activated in order I to Dengar is an Imperial hero featured in Star Wars Battlefront. He was added in the Best Fan expansion back, and he is a famous bounty hunter who was among the few selected by Darth Vader to hunt Han Solo. He is an aggressive bounty hunter who was great for pushing with his team or playing as a lone wolf. He's the first hero to use a heavy blaster, which is extremely powerful against regular infantry as well as other heroes. But before we take an in-depth look at Dengar's abilities, let's take a look at his emotes. You're gonna take a dirt nap. Ooh, I'm so scared. Ah, uh, do? Dengar has three abilities, the first of which is called Frenzied Blast. Dengar increases his blaster's rate of fire for a short amount of time. This ability is very powerful if used at the right time, but it has drawbacks. The ability creates difficult amounts of recoil and is not particularly accurate, but it does not overheat the blaster, so that is a plus. Dengar cannot sprint or jump while this is activated, but he can use his other two abilities to deactivate this one. Dengar's second ability is called Hurricane Strike. Dengar rushes toward his opponent with blinding speed and hits that opponent with the blunt end of his blaster. This could originally kill Luke Skywalker with just one hit before a patch came out and prevented this from happening. Dengar's third and final ability is called Explosive Rush, and when this ability is activated, Dengar will rush forward and throw three explosives to his front, right, and left. If any enemy is present in those areas, the explosive will stick to one of them, and all explosives thrown will explode after a few seconds and kill all enemies around. This is very useful for rushing into an area, doing a lot of damage, and using the explosive wrench rush to get out of the area and kill enemies on your way out. Dengar's passive trait is called Tough Fighter. This trait increases his armor as he deals more damage to heroes and kills enemies. This armor reduces the incoming damage from adversaries, so the more damage Dengar does, the less damage he takes, so it's good to stay in the fight with him and keep dealing damage, so in turn, enemy damage does less to you. Dengar is a tank for the Empire, meaning that he can dish out a lot of damage while also taking a lot of damage before dying. But Dengar, unlike Darth Vader or Krennic, doesn't have a shield and he cannot deflect. So his most useful places are in tight areas, undercover, like in Jabba's Palace, Heroes vs. Villains. He's, it's a very confined map, he's very good in there, and he's very dangerous. Since he has an armor trait which will boost up whilst killing infantry or fighting heroes, he will resist damage and will attack more to the enemy. One of my favorite strategies to use as Dengar is to rush into an area using Hurricane Strike, dealing a lot of damage to enemies in front of you, activating your Frenzy Blast to deal even more damage to infantry or heroes, and when your Frenzy Blast runs out, you use your Explosive Rush, find a way out, use the Explosive Rush, you run forward, throw explosives to the side, so enemies following you will die or take a lot of damage, and if they're running after you, they won't want to run into explosives, so you kind of make a quick getaway. If this video helped you use Dengar, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow me on Twitter like I mentioned before. I will be doing one of these for every other hero in the game, with only Chewbacca, Bosca, Jin or so, and Director Krennic left. And I'm very excited for Battlefront 2, so when the beta rolls around, I will hopefully have the beta and be able to record it for everyone. Thank you so much for watching again, and may the force be with you.